the very first session of the North American Spine Society meeting was at 7.30 a.m. Very early, I thought no one was going to be there, but it was a packed house and it was led by two PhD giants in the field, Dr. Donna Onmai and Lisa Ferrara, who organized the symposium on advanced topics and innovations in spine surgery. My topic was on expanding the scope of endoscopic spine surgery. And after thinking about it, I realized the most meaningful contribution I could make was to bust the learning curve because one of the biggest barriers to adoption is simply getting started. So I presented my topsurgeon.com make the first case go well campaign because if the first case does not go well, A, it is bad for the patient and B, it is highly unlikely that they'll do a second case. But if the first case goes well and the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth, but maybe the sixth case does not go well, then they will probably not give up and continue on. So if we want surgeons not only to try endoscopic spine surgery, but to adopt it into their everyday clinical practice, then we need to make the first few cases go well. Otherwise, they will give up. So step one, create the make the first case go well technique guide. This technique guide is not a sales brochure or a product catalog. It is a state-of-the-art guide that contains all the latest and greatest in technology like interactive animation as well as videos, detailed figures, interactive checklists, expert tips and tricks, etc., 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 all in one place on an iPhone or an iPad. So all you surgeons out there interested in endoscopic spine surgery, check it out and let me know your thoughts. Okay, let's go. Yeah.